you not just hear what I said? It sounded vaguely like you just wanted to help me escape. Yes, but we don't have much time. Why are you doing this? That's what I want to know. She just asked me to create a diversion to get the card out of the way. Okay, listen to me. Listen to me, both of you. I know I haven't given you much reason to trust How me. about any reason? You just told me the police are out there waiting to take Griffin back to jail, where the guy who stabbed him is probably two cells over. Now, you don't want your brother to get hurt, and neither do I. So we can either stand here and argue with each other, or you can help me. All right. Here, Love wait. you. Thank you. I swear to God, Kendall, if this is some kind of no, trick. It isn't. Why it are isn't. you doing this? Griffin, please, please. Why? To get the truth. The truth about what? Who murdered my husband? Yes, still looking into Diana Holden now. Dirty she was. Anything interesting? Too soon to tell. Well, you must have some idea, right? I mean, you did ask me to help. Yes, that's right, I did. Yeah, I, I wish I would have done something more. I, I'm concerned about Kendall, too. Will you understand? Yes. Reverend, we're all concerned. You said you found out something new about Zach, his crash. Yeah, we, we, we don't have time. Why should I put my life in your hands? It's better in my hands than the man who stabbed you. You're the one who put me behind bars in the first place. Wait, listen to me a second. Before you operated on me, before you, you made my heart beat again, we made a pact to trust each other. A life for a life, that's what you said. You have to trust me now, Griffin. It's the only way. I'm probably gonna regret this for the rest of my life. For however long that may be. Dr. Forrest, dial one more. Please dial one more. find out somehow that Ricky was involved in Zach's murder before I go to the police, I'm going to look him in the eye, I'm going to make him admit what he did to me, and then I'm going to make him pay. I know how close you and Kendall are. The thing is, well, she and I have also become close in the past couple of months. Yeah, she's, uh, she's told me all about you. Really? She has? Yes, that you have been there for her ever since Zach's death. Well, it's all part of the job description. Yeah, well, I know she really appreciates it. Kendall's a very special woman. I agree. I agree. She really values her friends, and I think she's an excellent judge of character. Wow. Thank you. I, I will take that as a compliment. So you seem like something's going on. Is there something that I can actually... You know, yeah, hit? yeah, yeah. Yeah, actually, actually, there is. Okay. All right, look, you've obviously known Kendall a lot longer than I have. So I was wondering if there's something that you could tell me that might help make things easier. Um, easier? For me. To help her. Okay, I'm not, I'm not sure I totally follow you. Okay. Kendall's been obsessing with what's happened to Zach. And I'm afraid that it's taken over her life. Uh, okay, well, I mean, sort of understandable considering the way Zach died and the fact that his casino partners were threatening him. Right? I mean, wouldn't you want some answers? What if there aren't any answers? What if these people are so clever that they'll never get caught? It's my experience that everyone makes mistakes. You, of all people, probably should know that, right? Yes, yes, but what if it takes years? What if it takes her the rest of her life? And even then, if she gets those answers, is it really going to bring her peace? That's a good question. I just wish that there was a way that I could help her let it all go. Okay, that's not going to happen. Zach was the love of Kendall's life and she lost him way too soon. So even if it takes years... Even if it takes the rest of her life, she will never stop searching for the truth and I'm gonna... I'm gonna help her find that. Wow, oh, that's, uh... That's admirable. Yeah, well, that's what friends do for each other, right? I understand that you and Zach weren't always friends. We had our differences, but I always knew that... He would have my back when crunch time came, and I would have his. Hey, are you still meeting Kendall for dinner? Yes. Okay, well, I should, I should probably get going now. Okay. Talk soon. Take care. Okay. Come on, come on, you have to hurry.
hurry up, hurry up. You don't up. haven't told me why you're doing this. I, I couldn't let you, I couldn't let you go back to jail. All right, I, I didn't want something bad to happen to you. Hey. hey, I'm still the guy with that woman in this bed, the guy you thought was guilty. Yeah, well, I found out some things that, that made me change my mind, some things about Zach's dad. What things? Some things that made me second guess what the truth really is. The letter. Zach's letter. Yes, yes, that, that, that page, that last page when I told you that, that Zach called me sweetheart. Well, it was a fake. The whole thing was a fake. I found the real letter in the yacht. And then there, there was a disc with it, and, and there were these, these two sets of, of casino books with names and dates. And Ryan's going to help me sort through all of that. In the real letter, Zach said that he, he thought someone might be after him. That he thought he might be murdered if, if they knew he had the information. Well, I can't go there. I can't, I can't, can't go there. I can't allow myself to feel what I'm really feeling right now, all, all the, the rage and the tears. I'm not gonna go there. Because I'm this close, I'm so close to finding out the whole truth. And you want me to help you? I know, I, I, I have a lot of nerve asking you to help me, especially after, after what I did to you, after turning you in for the, for the drug theft. Do you believe me now? I wasn't dealing drugs in the street, that I didn't kill Diana Holcomb. I have nothing to do with sex death. It's pretty simple. I'm either a drug dealer and a murderer, or I'm not. Look at me. Look at me. You know me. You know who I am. What I do, I save lives, Kendall. I saved yours. I shook your husband's hand and I made him a promise that we would save people all over the world. You really think I'm capable of killing the man I made that promise to? There's no way you killed Zach. Kendall! Oh my God, what, what the hell's going on here? What are you doing here? You, you realize if I could find you, the police won't be too far behind me, or did you not realize that there is an APB out on yes, you? Yes, yes, I figured as much. I'd like you to step away from Kendall and tell me what the hell is going no, on here, please. It's okay, it's okay, this was my idea. What? Yeah, yeah, I broke Griff out of the hospital. Are you crazy? Yeah, I had to. No, Ken, you didn't have to. This man is a murder suspect, okay? Now you could go to prison along with him. He didn't do it. And you, and you know that for a fact, do you? Yeah, I do now. How? There's no way this man is the killer. I just know it. And I can't send him back, 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 back to jail. Something could happen to him. He could be in danger. Hey, look, I'm not going to let that happen. Look, Ryan, for what it's worth, I tried to talk her out of it. But you decided to go along anyway. Yeah, I have a stake in finding out the truth, too. Listen, he, he helped me, and, and he, got, he got burned for it, and now it's my turn to help him. There's still a lot of unanswered questions. Well, I've answered all of hers, I think. What do you want to know? Yeah, I took antibiotics and vaccines from the hospital, but only to ship them to clinics that needed them. And I was going to pay everything back with interest. Everything else is a back of lies. I'll swear to my life on that. You might just have to do that. Okay, Ryan, you know what it's like to be accused of something that you didn't do. I believe him. Look. Ryan, it's your call. Whatever you want. If you guys have a plan, I would love to hear one. Thank you. But not here. I know a place. Follow me. Okay, all right. Okay, this place should give you cover for a little while. Okay, well, I'll um, I'll meet you inside. Go ahead. Okay. So what's the plan? Or, or do you have a plan? Well, Griff might actually be able to help with some of these answers that we need. Ryan, I misjudged him completely. Th th this whole time, he was only just trying to help me. And how are you going to repay his kindness? I mean, I mean, breaking the guy out of jail was only going to last so long. There was a dead woman found in his bed. Yes, I know. That was only part of him being set up. So what happens next? 
Well, I, if Griffin stays here in Pine Valley, he, he could be in serious trouble. So I think we need to... We need to, we need to get him out of here. Are we talking, like, out of the country? Could you arrange that? You're in pretty deep already, Kendall. Are you sure you want to do this? I owe him at least this much. Please, I mean, if I can do it myself, I'll do. Just tell me how. I'll see what I can do. Wonder how long this place has been on the market. I can't believe that you're... You're laughing, even with a hundred cops on our trail. Not ours, Kendall. Mine. Nobody knows you had a part in this. Griffin... We don't have a lot of time, Kendall. You told me you figured something about Zach. Yeah, well, I, um... I distinctly remember something about Zach's letter that, that was incriminating about the casino partners in the event that something had happened to Zach. Right, they would be the people to look into, I remember, right? Yeah, well, I wasn't yeah. alone when I got the letter. And then the boys came home, they were on a sugar high, I had to go upstairs and help them, and when I came back down, the last page of the letter was gone. Right, it was stuck in the couch somewhere. Yes, eventually that, that's where we found it. Only when, when, I, when, I, when I looked for it, that the last page was missing. It wasn't the same, it was different. The, uh, there was nothing else about uh, the, the casino partners or, or, or any threat, it was just gone. You said you thought you had imagined it. Right. Yeah. And this, this guy called me sweetheart. And, um, and then it hit me. It was the same person who was with me when I got Zach's letter. And, and he was there, he was there with me when I went upstairs to help the boys, and he was there when I came back, and, and the letter was missing. He helped me find it. He's probably the one who, who switched it or who forged it. I think he might have something to do with, with what happened to Zach. He may even be the, the, the person who killed him. Ricky. Officer Monroe. Yeah. What's the latest on Griffin Castillo? Uh, he's still missing and we're still looking for him. Do you have any leads? Excuse me, what does this have to do with you? I'm just concerned about Kendall. Griffin isn't gonna hurt Kendall. After she accused him of stealing drugs, I'm not so sure about that. He was set up, okay? I'm just saying how it looks. Well, I'm just saying you don't know anything. And you're the little sister who believes Big Brother can do no wrong. Hey. She's got a right to be concerned about her brother, so maybe you should turn the other cheek. You're right. I'm sorry, no excuses. Even criminals deserve our prayers and understanding. That son of a bitch. Ricky told Liza that you weren't as badly hurt as the doctor said. Oh, yeah, so he could get me back into the jail cell so his boy could take another stab at killing me. I know, I know, I know. It is so hard to yeah, accept. He, he's the one... He's the one who set me up with the drugs. He's the one who planted the body in my room and probably killed that woman with his own two hands. And all the time, he, he was passing himself off as a man of God warming his way into your life. This... Well, I let him. I let him. It's okay. Hey, listen. Listen. We all got snowed here, Kendall. No, no, not you. But... You didn't. You didn't. I mean, you you, you, you saw it right, right through him. You're the one who didn't trust that, him in the first that place. That doesn't matter. Okay, the guy's a killer. We don't know that 100%. After everything you just told me? No, no, his name is not on the list of casino partners. There's no link to Ricky at all. Well, that's because Ricky Torres is probably an alias. No, probably is not proof either. Listen, he, if he's the one who killed Zach, that I means... I know that. I know, okay? I know. I know if he took my husband away from me, if he took my life away from me, I want him to look me in the face and I want him to see what he did no. to me and to my son. No. What you need to do is you need to stay as far away from Ricky as you possibly can. Griffin, you're a good man. You're a good man. You tried to help a friend, and all it did was, was get, get your life ripped apart. Kendall. No, no, listen to me a second. I am so sorry. I am so sorry for, for, for putting you through this. And I'm so sorry for not believing in you. But the only thing that, the only way that I can help you is to get you away from me. No way, no way. I'm not letting you risk your life again. I'm please, not letting you please, risk it. Please, please, I have to do this my way, okay? Please, I need to do this. You are free. You are free right now, okay? I want you to go. I want you to leave the country. Go save lives. And don't look back. I'm not going anywhere. 
Griffin, Griffin, please. If Ricky please. is who we think he is, that means you're in danger. I can take care of myself. That's not the point. Please, please do this for me. I promise I won't take any unnecessary risks. I'll make sure of that. So you're on board with this? I think you're in a tough spot. And I think Kendall's right. You stick around here, you will not be the first innocent man to go to prison. I mean, and, and until we can prove that Ricky is responsible for all of this, all of, all of the evidence points to you. Now, I've organized to have a plane waiting to take you anywhere you want to go. My advice is that you take it. So that's it. I just, I just leave you alone. Take off. She won't be alone. Now I'm gonna go outside and make sure it's safe for you to leave. Don't take too long to make up your mind. Griffin. It's all right. Please, can you ever forgive me? You did finally believe in me. That was enough. I guess this is it, huh? Take care of yourself. You too. It's safe to move. Let's do it. Don't you let her out of your sight. Not for one minute. Come on, let's take you home. Hey, you okay? Okay. The man that I've been leaning on, depending on, may have killed my husband. He, he performed his memorial service. Uh, you know what? We just need to get him. That's all. We can go to Jesse right now. No, Brian, we need evidence. We need more evidence. We can't let Ricky know what we know. We gotta be very, very careful right now. Let me come inside. No, you, it's okay? okay. I'm just gonna go in and get changed. This is the time to have your guard up, okay? It's, listen, everything's gonna be fine, okay? The boys, they're, they're safe. They're at Wildwind with Bianca. And Ricky's probably already at Confusion waiting for me. You can go there and wait for him. Are you sure this is the way you want to play it? We need the evidence. All right, well, just know, even if you can't see me, I'm there. I'm just a shout away, okay? And don't try and talk me out of it. Put it there. Hello. That's great. That, that's great news. But, but I, I can't right now. Just give me about an hour, okay? All right, great. Who was that? It was one of the PIs I have working on the case. They, they, they found some credit card receipts and some phone records on the good Reverend Ricky and some information on the guy who stabbed Griff. Good, okay, well then go, go, go talk to I, them. I will, I will, it can wait. No, 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 it can't. Please go talk to them, okay? I'll get dressed. Don't worry about being late to confusion. I'll, I'll text Ricky, I'll tell him that I'm running late. Okay, fine, but don't be in any hurry, okay? I want to be there the second you're alone with this guy. Okay. If anything happens, I'll call you. Yes, you will. Okay, thank you. Okay. Mm.